Hello and welcome back to my next video. I've had a bit of an issue with um, the um, footage that I recorded of actually doing these swatches. So I thought I'd just show you the, the end of the video, which is where I was talking through what I have actually done. So that's coming up next and I hope you enjoy it. It's very short, but hopefully the next video uh, I've got the footage right. Okay, I'm back. These aren't um, fully dry yet, but I thought I would show anyway because um, they're nearly, nearly dry and really good. So look at all of these all together. So we'll just do a like little run through. We've got the Caran d'Ache Luminous, Luminance Pencils in Brown Orca, Violet Pink, Violet Grey and Sepia 10%. Sorry, the Brown Orca is in the 50%. Beautiful colour palette together in its own right and would be lovely in mixed media work as well. I love the Caran d'Ache Luminance. They've got a lovely feel to them when you use them. And um, they work on really well on different papers that I've tried. Um, so I'm really happy with those. Then we've got the Sennelier Oil Sticks in Raw Sienna, Mars Violet and the Carmine Red. Beautiful tones, again, work really well together. Very similar tones to like these, but like darker. I really love the Carmine Red. Looking forward to using these in works, um, in my mixed media work as well. Then we've got the Art Graph, uh, and I've done that um, just initially on its own, um, in its raw state, and then I've um, wet it here because this is water soluble, and this is in the Sanguine, which again, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is dried more on, we're on the brown side, a bit like a burnt sienna shade, but it's a lovely shade of brown, brown and red. Then we've got the eco line, um, water, watercolors, liquid watercolors. We've got it in indigo, reddish brown, the carmine, and the pastel red. I think the reddish brown is my favorite, and it is more. Again, that's more on the red side. It's like a deep very deep red um shade and it's beautiful these three work really well together as well that in the bottle looks more like orange apricot but it's dried a beautiful pastel red as you can see these equal line uh, liquid watercolors you know because they dye base you do get you know where it dries um like you know like lines and things like that I really like that. It's okay for what I uh, okay for what I use. I, I like that effect. It's up to yourselves. Um, you know, it depends what you're using it for. If you want a, a different sort of effect, you might go for a regular water a watercolor. But I'm really happy with these, and I like the shades. And you can see, if I remove the indigo, what a lovely color palette that is together. Beautiful earth tones. So I'm really happy with those. And I'm going to see you in the next video.